The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, HZMB, is a 55-kilometer, 34-mile bridge tunnel system consisting of three cable-stayed bridges, an undersea tunnel, and four artificial islands. It is both the longest sea crossing and the most extended open sea fixed link in the world. The HZMB spans the Lingjing and Jusu channels, connecting Hong Kong, Macau, and Zhuhai, three major cities in the Pearl River Delta. The HZM bridge was designed to last for 120 years and cost 127 billion won, $18.8 billion, to build. The cost of constructing the main bridge was estimated at 51.1 billion won, 7.56 billion US dollars, funded by bank loans and shared among the governments of mainland China, Hong Kong, and Macau. Hopewell Holdings for founder and then managing director Gordon Wu proposed the concept of a bridge tunnel linking China, Hong Kong, and Macau in the 1980s. Wu stated that he got the idea in 1983 from the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. In 1988, Wu pitched the concept to Guangdong and Beijing officials. He envisaged a link farther north in the current design, beginning at Black Point near Tun Moon, Hong Kong, and crossing the Pearl River estuary via Nidlining Island and Kuei Island. His proposed bridge would have ended at the Chinese village of Tangje, and a new road would have continued south through Zhuhai before terminating at Macau. Discussion stalled after the Tiananmen Square massacre in mid-1989 unnerved Wu and other foreign investors and caused Hopewell's Hong Kong share prices to plunge. The route proposed by Wu was promoted by the Zhuhai government under the name Lingtang Bridge. In the mid-1990s, Zhuhai built a bridge between the mainland and Ku Island intended as the first phase of this route, though the whole scheme had not been approved by either the Chinese or Hong Kong governments at that time. China's central government showed support for this project on December 30, 1997. The new Hong Kong government was reluctant, stating that it was still awaiting cross-border traffic study results, and Hong Kong media questioned the environmental impact of the project with regard to air pollution, traffic, and marine life. Before we move on, leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be the first watching new episodes. In December 2001, the Legislative Council of Hong Kong passed a motion urging the administration to develop the logistics industry, including constructing a bridge connecting Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau. In September 2002, the China-Hong Kong Conference on Coordination of Major Infrastructure Projects agreed to a joint study on a transport link between Hong Kong and Pearl River West. To coordinate the project, the Advanced Work Coordination Group of HCMB was set up in 2003. Officials from three sides solved issues such as landing points and alignments of the bridge, operation of the border crossing facilities, and project financing. In August 2008, China's central government, the governments of Guangdong, Hong Kong, and Macau, agreed to finance 42% of the total costs. The remaining 58% consisted of loans, approximately 22 billion yuan, or US 3.2 billion from the Bank of China. In March 2009, it was further reported that China's central government, Hong Kong and Macau agreed to finance 22% of the total costs. The remaining 78% consisted of loans, approximately 57.3 billion yuan, or 8.4 billion US dollars, from a consortium of banks led by the Bank of China. Originally set to be open to traffic in late 2016, the structure was completed on February 6, 2018, and journalists were subsequently taken for a ride over the bridge. On October 24, 2018, the HZMB was opened to the public after its inauguration a day earlier by the Chinese leader Xi Jinping. The 55-kilometer crossing consists of three cable state bridges and link roads in three cities, reducing the traveling time between Hong Kong and Macau Zuhai from an hour's ferry ride to a 40-minute car journey. This is a vital initiative of the Chinese government's plan to drive the Greater Bay Area's economic and social integration, encompassing 11 cities in southern China, including Hong Kong and Macau. The main section comprises three navigation channel bridges, Zhuzhu, Xinghai, and Kuzhu. As the link would be prominent from the land, sea, and air, a unique and aesthetic design was highly desired. Resilience and sustainability were also high on the agenda to address concerns such as frequent typhoons and habitats of dolphins. All three bridges were proposed to be cable-supported, with central towers of various shapes placed between the carriageways to give both a visual affinity and variety between the bridges. 
From environmental considerations, single column piers were used to support the structure with piles buried in the seabed. This minimizes obstruction to water flow and impacts on the habitat of the Chinese white dolphins. At the detailed design stage, all three bridges design were revisited and the Zuzhu Bridge has been retained in its original form with sail-type towers. Construction of the HZMB project began on December 15, 2009 on the Chinese side, with then Politburo standing member and Vice Premier of China Lin Kuen Kuang holding a commencement ceremony. Construction of the Hong Kong section of the project began in December 2011 after a delay caused by a legal challenge regarding the environmental impact of the bridge. The last bridge tower was erected on June 2, 2016, the last straightened element of the 4,860-meter-long, 15,940-feet straight section of the undersea tunnel was installed on July 12, 2016, while the final tunnel joint was installed on May 2, 2017. Construction of the main bridge, consisting of a viaduct and an undersea tunnel, was completed on the 6th of July, 2017, and the entire construction project was completed on February 6, 2018. During the construction, 19 workers died. The 55-kilometer HZMB consists of three main sections, the main bridge in the middle of the Pearl River estuary, the Hong Kong Link Road in the east, and the Zuhai Link Road in the west of the estuary. The main bridge, the largest part of the HZMB project, is a bridge Kung tunnel system constructed by the mainland Chinese authorities. It connects an artificial island, housing the Boundary Crossing Facilities, BFC, for both mainland China and Macau in the west to the Hong Kong Link Road in the east. This section includes a 22.9-kilometer viaduct and a 6.7-kilometer undersea tunnel that runs between two artificial islands. The viaduct crosses the Pearl River estuary with three cable-state bridges spanning between 280 and 460 meters, 920 and 1,510 feet, allowing shipping traffic to pass underneath. The HZM bus shuttle service runs 24 hours a day, with bus departures as frequent as every five minutes. The journey across the HZMB takes about 40 minutes. The HZMB Hong Kong port can be reached from Hong Kong by taxi or various buses, including City Flyer Airport routes A11, A21, A22, and A29, Long Wind Bus Airports route A31, A33X, A36, and A41, the B4 shuttle bus from Hong Kong International Airport, the B5 shuttle bus from Sunny Bay MTR Station, or the B6 bus from Tunchun. Also, all overnight airport buses terminate and start service from the Hong Kong port. The HZMB Xinghai port can be reached from the mainland by taxis or the L1 bus, which uses historic tourist vehicles or Line 12, 23, 25, or 3 buses. The HZMB Macau port can be reached from Macau by taxis or various buses, including the 101X bus and the 102X bus from St. Paul's and Tapai, or the HZMB Integrated Resort Connection bus from Tapai Ferry Terminal or the Exterior Ferry Terminal, connecting with free casino shuttle buses. Currently, only 10,000 permits for private vehicles to drive across the HZMB from Hong Kong to Shanghai are issued. In addition, the number of vehicles permitted to enter Hong Kong and Macau from other regions is subject to a daily quota. Since the Hong Kong government imposes significant fees, taxes, and administrative paperwork on private vehicle ownership and usage to deal with road congestion, driving a car in the HZMB would incur the same restrictions as current cross-border traffic. These include applying for separate driving licenses for both Hong Kong and mainland China, a Hong Kong closed road permit for cross-boundary vehicles, and an approval notice from the Guangdong Public Security Bureau. Vehicle owners also need to ensure that they have the appropriate insurance coverage for the regions they are traveling to. In addition, to help Compact Macau tackle its road congestion problems, drivers arriving from other regions are strongly encouraged to use a park and ride scheme, leaving their vehicles at a car park on the edge of Macau. A small quota of 300 vehicles is allowed to enter Macau directly. The number of deaths and injuries during the construction project came under scrutiny in Hong Kong. In addition to nine fatalities on the mainland side, more than 10 deaths were reported on the Hong Kong side of the construction project, plus between 234 and 600 injuries, depending on the source. In April 2017, the construction site workers' general union, the Labour Party, and the Confederation of Trade Unions demonstrated at the central government complex demanding the government take action.
Lawmaker Fernando Chung also expressed concern over the unknown death toll on the Chinese side of the project, stating, The project is known as the Bridge of Blood and Tears, and we're only talking about the Hong Kong side. We don't even know what is happening in China. I suppose the situation could be 10 times worse than that in Hong Kong. He said that the Hong Kong government had a responsibility to consider worker safety on the Chinese side. Thanks for watching. Leave the comment down below and let us know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe for new and upcoming episodes.